In this fourth example, um, we're given that the longest side of a triangle has a length of 13, and the shortest side has a length of 5. Find the length of the third side so that the triangle is a right triangle. So what this is asking is to use the converse of the Pythagorean theorem. It's not giving me a right triangle. What it's saying is, here's the legs of the triangle. Here's the longest side. Here's another leg. Now, how do you make this into a right triangle? What would the third side have to be to satisfy the Pythagorean theorem so that we'd have a right triangle? All right, the longest side has a length of 13. So if this were to be a right triangle, if we wanted to turn it into a right triangle, the longest side would be over here, so that'd be the hypotenuse. Or C. And the shortest side is the length of 5. So we'll say that that's side B. So I need to figure out side A such that it satisfies the Pythagorean theorem. So let's go ahead and isolate A squared, solve for A squared. And that equals c squared minus b squared. Substitute in. Hypotenuse would be 13. And this other side is 5 squared. So a squared equals 13 squared, which is actually 169 minus 25. Subtract 169 minus 25 is 144. Take the square root of both sides to get a, a equals 12. So in order for this triangle with a length of 13 for the longest leg and the shortest side having a length of 5, in order for this to be a right triangle, the third side would have to equal 12. If it did, then you'd have a 5, 12, 13 triangle and that would be a right, that would satisfy the Pythagorean theorem. Okay, um, today on educator.com we covered the Pythagorean theorem. And I will see you next time when we talk about the distance formula.